When the ice forms, it traps air bubbles. Air bubbles in ice cores are very precious because they are the only archive that preserves the bad composition of the atmosphere. Forty years ago, ice core research led to two crucial discoveries. Firstly, carbon dioxide and methane atmospheric concentrations were lower during cold periods and higher during warm periods. And with this result, the ice core community demonstrated for the first time the direct relationship between atmospheric greenhouse gas concentration and temperature. Secondly, the atmospheric greenhouse gas concentrations over the last 800,000 years have never been as high as they are today. And human activities have been responsible for the increase of atmospheric greenhouse gas concentration observed over the past 150 years. We use three different methods to extract the gases from the ice. The first method is dry extraction. So the ice is mechanically grated into fine chips or crushed to open the bubbles and release the air. Unfortunately, it's not efficient enough to recover all the air trapped in the deep ice structure. The second method consists in melting the ice to release the air. However, the presence of liquid water favors chemical reactions that produce CO2. And the third method has been developed very recently. It is a sublimation technique that uses laser energy to transform solid ice directly into water vapor. It releases 100% of the gases and prevents reaction in liquid water. The Beyond the Vega ice core aims to reach 1.5 million years back in time. For the deepest part of this core, one centimeter of ice contains 100 years of atmospheric history. And this is very small, so we need very precise measurement techniques. Moreover, we realized that some greenhouse gases are produced in the ice sheet from chemical reaction with dust, and the atmospheric information is altered by these non-atmospheric gases. So ongoing research aims to understand how these gases are produced. I'm part of the Deep Ice Project because I'm fascinated by ice cores um, taken from extreme and remote regions.